Hello there everybody and welcome to or welcome back to the channel. Today we're here with a coin of which we previously spoke about a predecessor of, a circulating commemorative coin for the 125th anniversary of the Canadian Confederation. Now I previously spoke about the 100 year coin, the Sentinel coin from 1967 and this year is from 25 years later, a quarter of a century later in 1992. Now it celebrates the same holiday, which is Canadian Confederation, which happened in 1867 and is marked by Dominion Day on the 1st of July annually. Now, without further ado, let's go off and talk about the statistics of this coin here. This coin here is a bronze coin, 98% copper, 1.5% zinc and 0.5% tin, with a very, very light weight of 2.5 grams a diameter of 19.10 millimeters and a thickness of 1.45 millimeters. The shape of this coin, as you can see on screen, is a dodecagonal shape, meaning it is 12 sided and it has an orientation being in the medal alignment. Now without further ado, let's go off and talk about the reverse of the coin here. The reverse of the coin here, we'll go off and begin by looking at the lettering by the way, has the word one cent across the top being the value of the coin and across the bottom you'll see the country's name canada and just above the c there you'll see the date 1867 to 1992 obviously that there being the dates from the confederation up until the current celebration date which is the 125th anniversary and just above the a you see that as kg which i will explain later now you can see here in the center we can see two Canadian maple leaves attached to their little twigs there, just sitting there nicely. Nothing too special there, nothing too complicated. But this year was actually designed by a guy that we have previously mentioned on this channel. This year is a man by the name of George Kruger Gray. We mentioned him before as he did design the reverse side of the 1932 to 1952 Southern Rhodesian three pence coin. Now that there is why the KG is here. The KG is the engraver mark of George Kruger Gray, who, as I did say, engraved this coin. Now, obviously, one last thing before we do flip onto the side, the edge here has a dentrical, or actually, that's not a dentrical, sorry, that is just a simple beaded edge there, just nicely just decorating the coin there. So let's now go off and flip this coin here onto its edge. It's got a smooth edge, as you can see, but it is dodecagonal, so that is pretty cool. And we can just put it down here, on its obverse. The obverse here has a portrait of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II looking to the right. This here is a portrait of her when she was 64 years old. And the inscription around her reads Elizabeth II DG Regina. Now if you want to go off and say this in Latin, the approximate Latin for it, because my Latin pronunciation isn't that good, should be Elizabeth II Di Gratia Regina which translates to Elizabeth II, Queen by the Grace of God. This here was engraved by a lady by the name of Dora de Pedri Hunt. And once again, that's about all I've got to say about this coin here. It's quite a simple design, but it's very simple and very pretty, I'd say. And definitely better looking than the previous coin we mentioned, which is the Sentinel one. As, let me flip this over. I do feel like the dodecagonal shape compared to the simple round shape of the Sentinel one is far prettier. And obviously I do personally just like the maple leaf design a bit better as well. Now, how much is the coin here actually worth? If you were to go off and try to sell it online, you can fetch for as much as 50 pence typically. This here being about 75 cents for the Americans out there. It's not a very valuable coin as you'll need to go off and have it in a pretty decent quality to go off and get it for that type of value. I got mine luckily from my grandma who also got me this one actually when she was on a cruise quite a long time ago. So yeah, I, I don't really know how common they are to find in your change but from what I've heard from a few friends they're not that rare either. So if you do get them do keep a hold of them though as the value will almost certainly go up over time. And with that, that's the end of the video everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching and please do leave a like, subscribe and do leave a comment, leave me some suggestions or just tell me what I messed up if you want. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and please do have an amazing day everyone. Alright, ta-ta.